Imagine if you aged incredibly fast, say for every year you aged 10 years. It sounds like something from a fairy tale, a magical spell put on someone by a wicked witch. But in the real world, something does indeed at least resemble this. It's known as progeria syndrome, which is just one of what are called progerioid syndromes. These are basically genetic disorders that seem to fast forward the aging process. No doubt you've heard of two fairly common diseases that fall into this category that affect older people and those are Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Progeria is different as sadly it starts manifesting at a very young age, and so by the time children are aged just a few years, they already resemble a much, much older person. Let's now look deeper into this. The Progeria Research Foundation tells us that the full name given to this disease is Hutchinson-Guilford Progeria Syndrome, named after the two people that discovered it and wrote about it in the 19th century. The first part, progeria, actually comes from Greek and means premature aging. We're told that the basis of this disorder is a faulty gene, and scientists explain that the absence of the lamin AC protein makes the nucleus of cells unstable and has the effect of very sped up aging. This doesn't mean, of course, that the young people have the wisdom of the aged or that they're old in any way in their mind. What does happen is the body ages, meaning these people as early as two years old may start to have a wrinkled appearance. They lose their hair, they have stiff joints, have a high-pitched voice, a larger head, a thin nose, and unfortunately may experience all kinds of problems associated with older age, including arthrosclerosis and heart disease. They might also suffer many other diseases that people don't usually get until their autumn years. These differences in physicality don't exactly mean the children age and look as if they would have if they aged normally. People with progeria often look quite alike. According to various sources, it can affect any race and occurs in both males and females across the globe at about the same frequency. You can usually tell if someone has progeria at around 18 to 24 months. The first signs might be loss of all body hair and head hair, as well as a small pinched nose, the appearance of many veins visible through the skin and the absence of growth, including what looks like a very small face but a large head. This won't happen to many young people. With progeria, it's said to affect one in about four million people. There's no cure yet, and most of the sufferers can only expect to make it into their teens or in very few cases perhaps the early 20s. We're told the reason for their premature death is almost always related to their heart, such as having a stroke or having a heart attack. These young kids may have some kind of heart surgery to extend their life, but no amount of medical procedures so far have managed to prevent serious heart-associated problems for very long. But what about the people suffering from it? How do they get on? One of the people who survived the longest with this disorder became something of a celebrity. His name was Leon Botha, and he lived a full life until his death aged 26. This South African man was a DJ, a hip-hop artist, a writer, photographer, and a painter. You can see him spinning on YouTube or look at some of his impressive drawings. The disease certainly didn't hold him back in an artistic way. We should stress again that progeria affects the body but not the mental faculties. In the British media in 2015, it was announced that a progeria sufferer who had captured the hearts and minds of the public had died at age just 17. Her name was Haley Okines, and the press said that at the time of her death, she had the body of a 104-year-old. She'd been told she might not make it past the age of 13, but she fought on, only succumbing to pneumonia in the end. During her life, she did some amazing things, including writing her own biography called Old Before My Time. She was also featured in two documentary films, one called The Girl Who Was Older Than Her Mother and World's Oldest Teenager. Her father told the press that he was besotted with his little girl. As she got older, though, he noticed that she wasn't growing. At first, he thought it might not be anything as he's a very short man. He said then at age 13 months, she was still wearing clothes for a three-month-old, and he and his wife knew something was wrong. She was then diagnosed with this unusual illness. It didn't hold the girl back, though, and she fulfilled a few dreams by traveling around the world, swimming in the ocean with dolphins, and maybe the best of all, she got to meet her idol Justin Bieber. She also had some words with Prince Charles and Kylie Minogue. Another well-known sufferer was named Sam Burns. You may have seen him when he did one of his TEDx talks. You can see quite clearly that the disease has no effect on how articulate he is. He said if you wanted anyone to know anything about him, it was this, I have a very happy life. He went on to say, even though there are many obstacles in my life, many of them created by progeria, I don't want people to feel bad for me. His philosophy for a happy life, he said, is that he's okay with what he can't do because there are so many things that he can do. 
While he can't run a long way, he only focuses on all the things he's able to do, which are many. Like many of you, he must understand his abilities and adapt his life to knowing his boundaries and then becoming the best at what he can do. He also said he surrounds himself with people that are good for him, and that's something he believes we all should do. They provide him with a positive influence and he returns that back to them. His other main reason for his happiness, he said, was that he always keeps moving forward always planning the day ahead and making the best of those days. Keep focused, he said. I try not to lose energy feeling bad for myself, he said, because when I do, I get stuck in a paradox where there's no room for any happiness or any other emotion. He died age 17. You might also have seen someone who has been called an internet superstar, having garnered much attention on platforms like YouTube. Her name is Adelia Rose, and as we speak, just one clip on YouTube featuring her has been watched almost 7 million times. At the age of 11 in 2018, she already had 170 million views on YouTube, while her Facebook account had 13 million likes. This girl from Austin, Texas said in one interview, I like to make videos for my YouTube fans because I love them, I guess. Her parents say they try not to talk too much with her about progeria, only that they treat her like any other child. She seems to live just like any other girl, with only the aging process making her look different. As we write this, one of her last videos posted on Facebook opens with the words, If you have a disease or sickness, don't be ashamed of it. Because, look at my eye, she shows an eye that won't open, and I have no hair, and I just went outside. I feel ashamed, but now I'm okay. She's perhaps the biggest viral star that talks openly about a condition that has handicapped her in some way. The disease is very uncommon, as we said, with the media saying right now that about 500 children in the world have it. But will any of these kids be cured? What hope does science have of treating this disorder? You can actually go to the Progeria Research Foundation website and see the bios of many of the kids that live with the disease or have passed away. Just looking at a map of where cases found, it seems that Progeria sufferers are spread all over the world quite evenly. You can find Megan from the USA, a teenager that is an athlete, an author, a poet, and a musician. You've got 23-year-old Sammy from Italy, a budding actor and painter who's been on TV in Italy many times. Over in Australia, there's Enzo, whose mother says he enjoys anything with wheels, from playing Mario Kart to riding motorcycles. In Belgium, a brother and sister both have progeria. Michiel, who is 20, and his sister Amber, who is 12. They have a multilingual website which details their day-to-day -day lives and their ongoing treatment. Yes, we say treatment because some of the people we've mentioned are taking part in trials. Doctors hope one day to reverse this fast-aging process. We are told that there have been some success stories when sufferers took the drug lonafarnib, what's called a farnesyl transferase inhibitor during medical trials. The drug was in the past used to treat people suffering from various kinds of cancer. But during trials, progeria sufferers experienced positive results. These results were improved bone structure, better hearing, improved weight, and best of all, the patient's blood vessels became more flexible. The reason this is very important is that stiffness of the arteries is one of the reasons for heart attack or stroke. 28 young people from 16 countries, all with progeria, took part in the trial that lasted two and a half years. One of the doctors leading the trial said, when we started this clinical trial, we had no idea whether any aspect of progeria would be reversible, because no one has ever conducted a clinical treatment trial for progeria before. His aim, of course, was to give people diagnosed with the condition the chance to live as long as anyone else. This is not a cure, however, and if you read journals featuring progeria, you can see that scientists are still busy trying to stop this abnormal protein that advances aging from doing its damage. We're told that there is just no way to tell if anyone will have this irregular mutation of genes, as it doesn't seem to occur in families that have had any history of the condition. It just seems to happen, albeit as we've said, not often. How do you think you deal living with this condition? Have you been watching the people we featured either online or on TV? What do you think about them? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other show, What is Stone Man Syndrome? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.